In this video, I'm going to compare the difference of the Jenison MPPT charge controller and this bottom of the line MPT7210A charge controller. As you can see right now, I have the Jensen on. It does have an, any kind of screen on it or anything, so to be able to read the volts on it, I got this one, 150A is what it's called. For, it says it's gonna handle 150 amps. But as you can see at the moment, it's generating six, 6 6.8 watts, Not, nothing big. I got a 240 watt system hooked up right at the moment, but most of it's shaded. Anyways, what the comparison difference, what I want to show on this, on the Jensen, this is a 200 to $220 controller, is not, not the maximum watts that they're necessarily producing, but how it's able to correct itself if any, any kind of shadowing happens to the panel, it's able to correct and get back up to the maximum voltage within milliseconds. Okay, now let me plug in the MPT 7210A and I'll show you what happens with that one. There we go, there it goes. I uh, pretty much had what I like to call a, a shadow stroke. It's at zero watts. It sits here and holds for the longest time. You can also see that on the meter, which is a little bit more stable. It's at zero watts still. And there, it just recovered again. And this could happen for anything. A bird flying overhead, a um, little tiny puff cloud. There it goes, it happened again. Reset back to zero. And right at the moment, it's gaining no watts whatsoever. So this happened between the, throughout the whole day. It can end up costing hundreds and hundreds of watts. And that's that's basically why I switched into the Jensen system. Um, it doesn't have the screen or anything, but I was able to buy the meter for I think it was like twelve bucks or like twelve to twenty something like that. They're pretty much a dime a dozen on that. But yeah, that shows basically the difference between the the two controllers uh, between the I guess the dirt cheap um, one uh, out of China and then this uh, quite a bit more expensive one that's actually made here in the USA. Surprisingly nice. Want something. <laughs> Anyways, try to have a good day.